In the shadows of the Wildcat Hills, the Banner County Wildcats are preparing to continue the revitalization of their football program. The Wildcats lose four seniors from last year's 1-7 team that was able to get a win in week five of last year with a 54-8 win over Creek Valley. How many players Banner County will have each year is always the talk of the town, but the numbers are back up for the Wildcats. Early in camp, they have a listed roster of four freshmen, one junior, and four seniors. It's still not a ton, but it's a welcome sight for Coach Todd Winger, especially after playing last season's finale against Crawford with only five players. Obviously, numbers kind of hurt us a little bit, um, so it's nice to see that we had between eight and nine guys show up this year. But overall, it was it was good. Uh, this this team has taken a lot of time and effort um, rebuilding this this team, especially after we had three years where we didn't even have football at all. When it disappears, I mean, you lose an entire culture. Um, you lose Friday nights out at the game. You, you miss all of that stuff. So trying to bring that back and trying to recreate that culture is, has been pretty difficult. We have awesome people that show up all the time. Fans are great. Parents are great. So we're slowly getting back into that swing and hopefully this crew will will keep propelling us forward in that. One of those four-year senior starters is Isaac Olson, who is optimistic about the team's mix of upper and underclassmen. This year I hope we can do better. This is a young team, but I have faith in all of them. I hope that we learn to bond as well as we have. I'd like to see more tackles than what we had last year. I'd like to see more yards, rushing yards and passing yards, better teamwork. I'd like to see sportsmanship as well. The Wildcats will open their season at 2 p.m. on Friday, August the 30th against Sioux County. For KNB Sports, I'm Trayton Harmon.